Hello, Brother Sewing and Crafting family. I'm Angela Wolf, and we are at your side virtually. I'm a Brother Brand Ambassador, and we are live on the Brother Sewing and Crafting Facebook and YouTube page, and I can see all your comments. So be sure to say hi, say where you're from. If you're new to the party, welcome. This is a lot of fun. So today, it's a little bit different show, but I had a great idea. I've got these lovely ladies here sewing jackets, and everyone always brings the coolest gifts. So I'm just gonna show you a few of these. Uh, this is a curling iron holder. Awesome, who doesn't need this? I have here a couple fabulous books. I know Arnell, you're gonna love the purple. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone brings gifts and there's more than this, but I, I chose these few things to show you if you're going to a party, how can you jazz up your gifts? Look at this. So. What we're gonna do is show you how to make each one of these. We're not gonna, we're gonna walk you through the tutorial. I'm gonna show you on the Brother Luminaire how to do the quilting. Now, some of these girls did quilting in different ways and how to do the embroidery. Same with this one. Regardless, if you buy the fabric that's quilted, I'll bring it really close, or you quilt it yourself. I'm gonna show you some quick ways for that. And then we're gonna to go to the scan and cut and I'm gonna show you how to quickly cut some vinyl and dress up your water bottle. These make great hostess gifts or host gifts or wherever you're going. And it's really fun to share. So I see everybody rolling in. Welcome, welcome. Arnell, did you see that purple? I know you're gonna love that. <laughs> yep, Arnell says she loves the purple. Of course she does. <laughs> So to kick us off today, I'm gonna to let, I have the girls here, they've all agreed to come on the show. I'm very excited for you to meet some of them. Many of them you've seen commenting in our Brother So's shows, and they're here with the Wolf Pack. So let's get started. We're gonna start with Susan. Susan, hello. Hi, Wolfies. Um, since quilting is the theme for today, I brought my couture jacket that I made last fall, um, and I quilted the lining of the pocket, or to make a, to make it look like it was a, a piece of quilting because it, it kind of um, contrasts a little bit with the lines of the um, of the quilting on the couture part. So I got to see this real quick. I'm okay. coming over with you. Okay. So in case you missed this, hold on one sec. I got to make sure that you all can see this close up here. There, good. Okay, check this out. So she quilted the jacket. This is gorgeous. Silk charmeuse and look at this pocket. In case you haven't seen this before, gorgeous. I love that inside pocket. Yeah. Very cute. And then it couldn't hang on a normal hanger. I mean, heaven forbid. <laughs> so I had some leftover um, charmeuse. So I did the Joanne, if they're Joanne Banco has a great tutorial on one of the Brother Sews pages. And um, I just created this little handy dandy thing to put over my hanger. And I put a towel underneath it for more padding so that it would be across the shoulders. So I'm gonna bring this down here just to show everyone this a little bit closer and hopefully the camera doesn't blink. You know, it's not Friday, but sometimes that happens on Thursdays too. Okay, this is super cute. So, and you're right, Joanne has, Joanne, if you're watching, this is a great tutorial. So this is the hanger and you can see it's all quilted, which did you do this by hand? I did it by hand. I just drew the lines in with, with chalk. <laughs> I chalked them in and then just did one, you know, one, uh, the lines, one direction and then I crossed the lines the other way and it was a square and then I did the buttonhole here like Joanne says to do and then I um, stitched the sides like a like a dart so that it fit across the hanger very easy very that's easy. great so now she has her jacket that's all quilted what a beautiful jacket by the way thank you thank you I don't say so myself I had an excellent <laughs> teacher <laughs> <laughs> and then look at this what a great idea and then here's another close-up of the pocket that matches this so she did this by hand. You could use the move it foot. You could use the walking foot. You could use anything like that for this quilting. I'm gonna show you how to do this in the embroidery machine, but first we're gonna go on to some of the other things as well. First, I'll check those, Susan, just to make sure there aren't any questions for okay. you. Okay. And do you have any tips for sewing with this tricky fabric? Um, what I, I, the move it, I have a walking foot and I had that on um, my sewing machine and that makes it an absolute breeze. So that would be my first comment. And this one, I did put some batting in between this just to have a little bit thicker um, support and um, padding to the, to the um, hanger cover itself. But the mover foot, the moving foot or a walk it foot, anything to help 
those feed dogs Get a little it. bit easier. That was a saving grace, much less cursing, no need to go to confession. <laughs> there you go. So uh, batting, somebody said, do you have to use any specific kind of batting? I mean, no brands, obviously, but is there any thickness? Just uh, anything no, you have I just, I did, what I just had in the, what I had in my stash, I just got some things you could use. Um, diaper flannel, you could use quilt batting. You could even just put a few layers of some fa fabric that you don't care about using ever again. That's I mean, a you know, good idea. Just, you know, like use fleece. up some stuff. Yeah, fleece. Fleece would make a good mm -hmm. one. Yeah. I love that. So everybody's saying, gorgeous, gorgeous. I know. So that was one of the first things that when she brought this jacket, I was like, oh, that's gorgeous. So what a great way to finish off your garment. You go to all that trouble or all that work, <laughs> and now you have a beautiful hanger. So Joanne, thanks for a great tutorial on that. Excellent, excellent. All right, so we have more. Okay, I'm moving out. <laughs> Susan says, I'm Bye, moving everybody. out. <laughs> They're saying, thank you, great idea. Okay, so next. What time do we need? Sharon, uh, 12.45. Thank you. Girls are going to get lunch for us. So next up is Sharon, and she's going to show you how to make, this was such a great idea, and in fact, you might remember me mentioning this last year when I was traveling, well, it was pre-COVID, I was traveling nonstop, and this is a curling iron holder. And why would you need this? Well, because I'm always getting ready and quickly running out the door. And you can't just stick a hot curling iron in your suitcase. You can't even stick it in your bag. Maybe I'm running to the office, anything like that. So she brought us these in a few different colors and I thought it'd be great for her to show us how this works. So Sharon, hello, how are you? Hi everyone. This, uh, you can uh, use quilted fabric. You can make your own quilt quilted fabric or you can just purchase quilted fabric and I had these three colors at home so that's what I used and then on the inside is uh, utility, utility cloth like you put on your uh, ironing board cover so like this over here I was asking her what this is and she said this is it just like an ironing board utility cloth yeah so all you do is, and I don't know the exact measurements today, but uh, you just make a tube and you just turn it wrong, so you turn it inside out, and then you just sew up the sides. Well, first, I skipped a step, sorry. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not good at this. You put your magnets on or Velcro, whatever you really want to use, and then you just, uh, and if you want to embroider, do that before you, you know, put it all together, and then you just fold it up and sew the sides together, and that's all it is to it. I'm going to hold up the blue one for them. Well, there's a few different colors here. These were awesome, but let, I'll bring it up really close so you can see the quilting on here, because it's kind of hard to see, I know. So she did the embroidery, and then if you look closely, you can see the beautiful quilting on here, regardless if you buy the fabric quilted, or as I'm going to show you in a minute, how to do it on your luminaire. That looks great. Great job on the embroidery. Uh, by the way, I forgot to ask Susan this too. What are you wearing? This is uh, <laughs> my Angela top. Oh, I love this. With the lace where we inserted the lace into the sleeve and the lace is from Angela. I really, was this from you? Uh-huh. Yeah, with the pattern hat. <laughs> this yeah. is my favorite. This is what I was wearing yesterday, this fabric. Mm -hmm. Oh, how cute is that? So we did this in the Fashion Sewing Club last month. That looks great, Sharon. I love it. Very cute. Come back up here. You were wearing, what are you wearing? Rouge tee. It's my favorite. Tall collar. A little ruching on the side. And I think I am ruching in the sleeves. My favorite pattern. It's so it's such a quick sew. I think I might even have gotten this from you. This I fabric. don't recall. I don't know. But, but I anyway, like it. <laughs> but anyway, animal print, ruche tee, can't go wrong. Yes, yeah, so she's been wearing one every day. Yes. It's usually <laughs> hand dyed. And yes. I'm wearing the Bella. With some leggings and tennis shoes. So comfy. Are you rubbing with it? Only you're allowed to do that when you're <laughs> we're, sewing. We're petting. We're petting the fabric. <laughs> All right. We have more. Hold on here. And I'm going to bring you over. We've got Helen coming up next. And Helen is going to show you how this cute book. And if you, we'll give you more details in a second. But she's going to show you this. It's a great way to take your notes for class. The outside is gorgeous. She has a little place for the pen, the beautiful embroidery. And if you have one of the brother machines where you can use my design center or you can add a fill, 
That's what I'm going to show you in a minute, how to make this fabric so fast. You could sit there, watch it embroider while you have a cup of coffee. But let's take a look at this. Hey, Helen. Hi, everyone. <laughs> All right, I'll bring you the book. Okay. Ornell, when I made this, I thought of you. I said, oh, Ornell would like this. It is purple. It <laughs> um, on this one, I used um, two different color fabrics. You can, so I had a solid on the inside for the flat. Um, so this is a piece of fabric here. This is a separate piece. This is a separate piece. This, you have the flap. And then it is lined. I'm going to take this out. And it is lined. So it's very easy to just get one of these composition notebooks, slip it in. When you fill it out, you can take this one out and put a new one in. Uh, so you can use as many different color fabrics as you'd like um, to actually make this. This is a done in the hoop. This is an in the hoop project. So you pick your, um, your design that you want for your quilting. Uh, I have two different designs on my spine. I chose the, the diamond shape and then the different shape um for the cover and the the back of the uh of the project we'll bring them a little bit closer okay. i love that so i love where you have the pen too so you, uh, yeah. that's always such a neat way to have everything yeah, you put a little pleat in there so that the pen actually fits hey could you show so, the inside one more oh, time the inside sure so here's your flap and it's lined you can pull this and that's what it looks like on the inside but you just cover it and uh, again you can use uh whatever color as many fabrics um, as you would like. Oop, it slipped down. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> you have to love that. All right, so here we have. <laughs> All right, Ellen. Uh, and then here was mine. Angela's. Of course, we did paint for Angela. Of course. And here's the beautiful embroidery. I love the fabric. Again, the little pen, the notebook. I love this. Thank you. So if you saw Helen yesterday on yesterday's live show, she was wearing the same top that I'm wearing, right. the Bella. The Bella. In that blue, which was I so pretty. I love the Bella. It's so comfortable. Very, Very comfortable. cute. Yeah. So Helen just, uh, also, we're not going to share this part, but she just made us some awesome deviled eggs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so today is kind of sewing, cooking, fashion, sewing, cooking, yeah. fashion. Yeah. A little desserts. Yeah. Wynn just dropped off desserts, too. So, oh, so good. They were so good. We had so dessert good. before we had lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so this, now let's go to the machine, and let me show you some ideas if you wanted to embroider your own fabric for any of these projects. And I saw a couple of you asking, can I have the pattern for this? What I'll do is I'll get the pattern from Helen, the, who where you can purchase it, and I'll put it on my website. Okay? Sounds good. All right. Bye, everyone. Okay. So let's go to the machine. If you have questions, feel free to roll those in. I'll ask in just a second. So it's saying they like the book. So by the way, on the Brother Sewing blog, I'm not sure if it's up. They were moving it to a different website, which will be at brothersews.com. As soon as that's up, I actually did a book cover uh, out of faux leather, and you could do the same process with quilted fabric. But you can go see that blog post, and I show you how to measure your book and how to because I use it for a lot of different books. I have different little names on them, and I just do that for myself, too, not even for gifts. Arnell says, yes, there is pink for Angela. And Bonnie, I'll put the pattern that she used on my website. Uh, I'll be up tomorrow, and the websites are down below. All right, so are you ready to go? Let me make sure I don't have any other questions here. Let's go to the machine and I'll show you how you can embroider your own fabric. In, clay, in case you have, this would be on any machine that has my design center, okay? But I'm gonna be using the Luminaire. All right, let's bring this. There we go, nope, there's the scan and cut. Hold on, I got one more here. All these cameras up. And the pattern you'll see on my website. Okay, so let's go to the machine. I'm gonna pop over here without tripping over all my cords. Helen, that's a great. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just so y'all know, this is how this is how we work here. Helen's on the table. We've got cutting tables. Sharon's over here. <laughs> and hey, Darlene. <laughs> okay, back to the machine. I got to share how much fun this is. It's so nice to have classes, right? Oh, yes. I know it's blinking. Yes. Sorry about that. This is blinky, as you all know. Okay, so here. On your machine, go into My Design Center, which is right down here. 
when you go here, you can choose whatever size hoop you're going to use, or maybe you already know the dimensions for your pattern. I'm going to go in here and just choose a size. Let's go, or let's pick just any of these, any of these shapes. There you go. There's the box, and you can now alter that if you'd like. I'm just going to go, let's see, move this up here. And can you see that? Okay, I can make it a little darker if need be. Let's make that a different color. There we go. Okay, now let's go into the paint bucket. And you've probably seen this so many times, but just in case you're new to this, you can add stippling, and I'll make it blue, just so you can see that. And look, instantly add that to the screen. I love that. Or maybe you don't like that, take that one out. Now, depending on which machine you have, you might have this button here, which you can go through and add any of these fills. Does this one look familiar? I'll put it in here. Check that out. Isn't that exactly what I just showed you? I'll make it bigger. That's exactly what we did on one of those. I love that. Okay, there's one. And now what about, here's a couple others. In case you think, what am I going to do with these fills? Give me something different to do. <laughs> of course, I found one that we should do for Wynn for his book cover. He could use this on his boat. There's a bunch of fish. Or maybe... This one reminds me of the notebook. I know I saw something in here that would work. Look at all these different fills. Look at this one. This would be perfect on there. Helen, I found a great one for you for your next notebook. There's roses. And there. So if you embroider your entire piece of fabric before you start the project, now Helen's wasn't in the hoop project where she made the entire thing in the hoop. You could also just design your fabric and then sew these together. Very simple to do. Now, what about if you wanted to add embroidery, but you didn't want to interrupt the fill? Let's go back here. I got one more quick tutorial for you before we go to the scan and cut. All right, so on here, I'm gonna go into my embroidery section and let's just say that I want, hmm, maybe not there. Let's go into here. Let's just say you wanna give somebody a great gift. Look at these beautiful letters. How about a beautiful A? Of course, why not? Click on edit. And when I go here, if you click this outline right here, it will add an outline around this that we can use in my design center. I'm gonna make the distance around this just a little bit bigger. Okay. Click memory. It will save to memory. Now I can go into my design center Let's bring this back up here. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> that could always be dangerous. Yeah. Let's see. Here we go. You can see all these shapes that I have outlines for in here. Uh, but here, I'm going the wrong spot. Let's go in here. Right up here, you see the same flower that you just had, and there's my A. There's my A, so I can embroider my A, have this outline around it, so when I go into this screen and wanna add stippling, if I wanna do a few different processes here, then I'll go into here, and why don't I pick uh, stippling again? And click there. How cool is that? So she could have embroidered that proud member of a wolf pack, added this around it, all in a couple easy steps. So I'll come up here, see if you have questions, and then I'm gonna take you to the scanning cut and show you how to make another project, which is this, how to decorate your drink bottles. So let me just see if you have any questions on that. I agree, Julie, those colors are awesome. Hi, Kelly, thank you for that. You're always right on it when it comes to <laughs> the great directions. And also you can find, I believe it was either on Brother Sews or um, maybe their YouTube page where Joanne showed how to make that hanger cover. All right, I see one question here. Let me bring this up and see what this says. J 
Jeanette, hi. Watch making a top yesterday. How do you prevent the top from having wrinkles on the side of the bus? Jo just love the book. Oh, wonderful, Jeanette. So if you're talking about wrinkles on your top, if you're getting wrinkles through here, usually you need to do a full bust adjustment or you can add some ruching to the side, which will get rid of those. So it's usually something with your armhole or if you need to add an adjustment to your pattern. That's usually, not always, but usually. Uh, what type of fabric did you use for the iron, for the flat iron? So it looks like she used, this is a cotton, and then the inside, what did you call this, Sharon? I'll put you up on camera right there. Utility, utility cloth. Utility cloth. I, I think I can't see your head. Utility cloth. There you go. Squat. <laughs> <laughs> utility cloth. Utility cloth. Thank it's you. Just like you use on your iron board. Perfect. Got it. Utility cloth. I don't know why I can't remember that. <laughs> Arnell, did you put your basting in before you embroidered it? Hmm. Which basting, Arnell? Did anybody baste there? Oh, you did? Did yeah. you you do your basting? Yeah. If you, you, kind of, you baste your fabric in, then it does the design. Yes. Baste your fabric in, and then it does your design. Thanks, Helen. You're welcome. Question. What hoop for the book cover? Well, I would say this book cover could fit into, well, it depends what machine you have. But I can measure this real quick for you. But um, I would use the largest hoop. I did the. Um, She's thinking. I think the design was for. A, I think I did a eight by twelve, but it was a lot of extra. But I eight did, by twelve. Yeah. Hold on, I'll, let's. I'll just show you real quick. I think it was an eight by twelve. You don't have to get down. <laughs> You think it was an 8 by 12 I think I used an 8 by 12 but you can use a smaller one, but I don't remember the dimensions. Okay. I just didn't have that hoop, so I just went bigger. All right. The biggest, the bigger hoop you have, the more room you have to work on this, right. too, by the way. Yeah. So, and this one, you could potentially, you would have to use two hoopings because it's this long and then you have this side, but you could just continuously hoop it. But it's pretty narrow. So if you're using the largest hoop on the luminaire, you could probably get two of these in or do a big piece of fabric and then cut two of these together. All right. Sharon, your top is adorable, Amy says. Well, thank you. <laughs> she says, thank you. All right, what other questions do you have for us? And then I'm gonna take you to the scan and cut. I did forget to say, I'm, I did this part right here. Kind Watch of, your step right there. Kind of like cut work. Because I sewed this. Oh, on. that's pretty. I sewed this. So on. pretty. And then Let's I see if I can. I'll take the words down, and they can see you on here. I sewed that on, and then I cut this fabric out from behind. Oh, it. that's a good idea. I cover stitched so she, it on. So she she did cut work instead of just different panels. That's so yeah. much faster and easier. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent tip. Excellent. All right, Cindy, what do you have to say? You want to resize and repurpose your curling iron bag into a pizza box carrier. <laughs> there you go. I like that. Make it larger. Cindy wants a pizza cover. Nobody knows what it is. No, nobody knows what it is. <laughs> all right, what else? I got the fabric. I think I got all these questions. You ready to go to the scan and cut? Oh, somebody asked about batting. Do you have to line up hoops to get a bigger fabric piece? So, Michelle, depending on what machine you have, maybe you can use the snowman feature to do where you can just keep extending your fabric. You know, it's like multiple hoops. You have pattern connect. There's so many different things that you can use in the luminaire to help do that, whatever you're, whatever you're working on, any of these projects. But quite often, if I'm doing quite a, a large piece of fabric that I'm quilting the whole piece, you can just move it around, line it up. I also have the projector on this machine to make sure it matches perfectly. Very easy. We'll have to do this full project one time, but I thought it'd be fun to give you a lot of ideas. Maybe you have something going for the weekend or something, right? Batting. Batting doesn't matter. Uh, for batting on yours, uh, Sharon, did you have batting in here? Just no. no batting in Sharon's. Only batting. Was there very limited batting in here? What was what batting did you use, Helen? No. 
No batting. I don't think I have batting. It doesn't feel like batting. I don't think I have batting. There's only batting in Susan's. Yeah. I don't remember. Can you show how to outline again, Patty? Yeah, I'll show that again, Patty, but also you can go back and watch this video over too. Okay, I think I got everybody. So let me take you to the scan and cut and then I'll show you the outline one more time. All right, scan and cut it is. So in the next one, I'm gonna show you how to do this. We added proud member of the wolf pack to each one of these and then everyone has their name and that way they know what their water bottle is. So we've got every color, and this was kind of a fun project. We did this on the first night during our cocktail reception. So let's go to the scan and cut and I'll show you that. Take this off. Helen says there's a little bit of batting. I use just that little cotton batting, a little thin cotton batting. Okay, thin cotton batting, that's not too bad. All right, so here is the scan and cut. Meet you over there. Okay, so I had all of these extra pieces of vinyl. Let's turn this on. It was on. If you look closely, I've already cut quite a few of these that I need to pull back, but I'll show you how I did this on here. This is one that we messed up. I was not paying attention, but you can kind of see the idea. Here's one out of silver, if you look closely. It cut this in one quick, easy step. There's my name. So here's one. I still have to pick out a few little pieces. There's my name, some transfer paper. Here's one that looks pretty good. This one is all weeded out. But I didn't need to waste. Everyone wanted to do different colors. So instead of wasting whole pieces of vinyl, let me just show you how this works. I'll bring you in a little closer here. Here in the back section of my studio with all my camera work. So excuse the mess. I didn't want to interrupt the ladies while they're sewing. Okay, so in here, I have my USB in here and I'm going to pick a pattern. Oh, hey. Hi, Lynn. In here, I picked uh, for the letters when I wanted to do somebody's name. We might be sending Wendigo to Panera. <laughs> oh, no, no <laughs> affiliation to brother, by the way. <laughs> okay, so let's just do Wynn's name. We haven't got, given him one yet. W, I, N, N. All right, so there's his name. Click set, and I can see it up here. I can move this around. Make sure you guys can see that okay. Yeah, you can see that pretty good. I'll bring you just a wee bit closer. All right, so there's the name. Click OK. And now I'm going to go in here. Click add. And I'm going to go into retrieve data and let's grab this. And you can see I have a quite a few different files in here. There's my SVG file, proud member of the Wolf Pack. I'm going to bring that up here. I'm going to move that over here. So you can see both of them on there clearly. I'm going to scan in my mat. And. Oh, that's an idea. Oops, bring you out here. Sorry about that. Make you seasick on here, right? Okay, so here is the mat. And now I'm going to add just a couple pieces of vinyl. I think Wynn would like blue, but I have some smaller pieces of blue here. You can see this is one that we did a while ago that I've already cut. So I'm going to put this on here. Yeah, I guess we do. Okay. Okay, fine. No biggie. Open this up. And let's go ahead and put the scanning cut mat in. And I'll bring you up a little bit 
closer. Try not to make you seasick, but it is fishing season, so you just never know, right? There you go. Can you see that better? Okay, so in here, I'm going to go ahead and just scan my whole mat in just so I can see. Now, obviously, since I'm using the blue, and I only have two pieces of text at the top, I should be fine. But if I wanted to add a few different colors, which I did for all of these girls, it worked out great. So here's my, there you go. I can see this. I can also see that maybe I could, can I squeeze that down there and save a little bit of, I sure can. Just barely. I probably won't go that way. But this one, will that fit down there? Yeah. So see, I'm, I can preserve some of my vinyl, not waste it. I'll bring this down. Right here. That looks great. Click OK. Now, remember, you get to pick whatever you want on here. You could draw. This would be a great way to add little cards to people as well when they come into your party. Click cut. I have it on half cut right there because it's vinyl. Um, I'm using the auto blade. I'm using the new vinyl blade in case those of you that haven't used that yet. It's a great little feature there. I have this. Pop this into place. And we're going to just go ahead and start. <laughs> and it's cutting. So we'll wait just a few seconds for it to cut. That's the easiest part. Picking away all the pieces can be a little bit of a pain, but yes, super fun. You can hardly hear it, and the camera's right on there, too. So uh, I'll check and see if you have any questions. <laughs> oh, Cindy wants to know, is the lady in behind you wearing the Linda tunic? Yes, Sharon number two is wearing the Linda tunic. It's gorgeous. Would you like to show off your Linda tunic? I'll, you can stay right there. I'll bring the camera to you. I if you're walked over there, I have. Let's see. I've got it facing you right now. I'll show you Sharon's Linda tunic because the color is gorgeous. Thank you. Beautiful. So meet Sharon. Hello. Sharon number two. <laughs> Look at your beautiful top, by the way. I she came in this morning. I hardly even recognize it was a Linda tunic, but the fabric is so soft you want to pet it. What is it? Rayon? Right. Rayon Bunty. Bunty. Ready? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's just beautiful. And the collar is great. Not just her necklace. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see the sleeves. You don't like they roll up. Oh, I don't like that. Has the little tie here. Adorable. Thank you. Are you having fun in class? I'm having a great time. Oh yes. She gives us a lot of laughs. Oh, not me. <laughs> must be the other Sharon. <laughs> must be the other Sharon. So yes, that is. Oh wait, darling, you got to show your top. Oh, to come over here. Not to put it on the spot, but while that's cutting, which you can see, oops, it's still cutting. Darlene has on this fabric. I love this. Melody, you recognize this fabric from last year? So she made this last night in her hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> I travel with my sewing machine. <laughs> How gorgeous. So this, is this the Rouge Tea without sleeves yes. or is it the Rachel? It's the Rouge Tea. Rouge Tea without sleeves. Yes. I just love it. So the fabric is sparkly, comfortable, Stretchy. isn't it? Stretchy, it's very soft, very, very comfortable, yes. Very cool, and I love this sweater. I didn't make this. <laughs> I know, but you could have. <laughs> I could have, that's right. <laughs> Thanks, Darlene. You're welcome. Everybody is sporting some fabulous patterns. Someone said, Helen, what top are you wearing? <laughs> I wore my Angela yesterday. <laughs> she said, there you are. She says, I wore my Angela yesterday. <laughs> so we've had a lot of fun here. Now that is still cutting. I'll bring you back over there. Oh, there's the machine. You could see it's still cutting away. It should be done in just a moment. 
is this on Angela's site. Hi, Sharon. Uh, this is actually, we're on Brother So's Facebook page. This is the noon show. Usually there's an educator on, but they're doing training this week. So I'm joining you. I swap days. They, I was going to be on Tuesday. They were going to be on today. So you'll see uh, Jewel next Tuesday. I think it was Jewel and Kathy. All right, I'll check for more questions, and I think the scan and cut is finished. Everyone saying hi to all of you. <laughs> Janine, how, let me put my glasses on. I see something, these are, I've got glasses all over the studio today, so I don't even know if these are all mine. <laughs> how do you become a member of the Wolfpack and do you have classes for people who live out of town? So Jeanette, these ladies are from- Louisiana. Louisiana. <laughs> Ohio. Oklahoma, Ohio, Indiana, Indiana, and Ohio. And Ohio. And last week, we had ladies from Seattle to Texas to Chicago, all over. So I do these classes every once in a while. With COVID, you know, they're smaller, and these are all in my studio. So just stay tuned. If you uh, go to AngelaWolf.com, you can sign up for my newsletter, and you'll hear about the classes that are coming in the fall. And then I always have online classes as well. And if you're here watching, you are part of the Wolfpack. <laughs> we also have the Fashion Sewing Club, too. Uh, Kelly says, what are they training for? Hint, hint. <laughs> I, they're training for jackets. They're going to be jackets. And Darlene just left for lunch, but I'll tell her that you all thought she was beautiful. They love your blouse, Sharon. Oh, thank you. Th thank you, thank you. Oh, Susie, you lost yours. I will send it. I'll email it to you so you can put it on your cup. Susie was here last week. Connie says your blouse is beautiful, too. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. All right. So any more questions or I'll go back to the scan and cut. Oh, sorry, Sharon. Is the book cover on Angela's site? No, it's not at this moment because I didn't know there was a pattern. So I will have it on there tomorrow. Today is Thursday. Look on there on Friday. Oh, the ambassadors aren't training. <laughs> it's uh, training for uh, the educators for brother. Gotcha, Kelly. Cindy says to tell Jeanette the weekly fashion swing clubs are live every week, too, and you learn a ton. Yes. And the design, Susie, is on the fashion swing club site. Yes, I just thought about that. But I'll email it to you, too, Susie. I have it right here. Okay, so let's go back to the scan and cut and see how we can fill Put these on our cups, all right? There you go. Okay. All finished. Click OK. Take our mat off. And if you look really closely, there's Win. I'm going to go ahead and just cut that. Let me bring you down here. Move my mat out of the way. I was using the low tech mat. I saw somebody ask that, and it's a fairly new one. So, so there's the win. If you look closely, you can see the letters. And then here is now. I'm just using proud member of a look pack because it's part of my sewing class this week. But maybe you have a graduation party. Maybe you have a birthday party. Maybe you have anything like that. There you go. And then what you're going to do is just peel this back. And I have my little weeding tools. One second here. I'm just going to get a better angle so you can see this while I'm... <laughs> kind of like leaning. There you go. Just a little bit lower. My favorite weeding tools here. So you're going to pull this back. I got to get it started. Find one edge here. There we go. And this is a little tricky because there's a lot of little letters. So I pull it back really slowly. Is this 
You have to take this off very slowly because if any of the letters for some reason don't come off, you have to stop and kind of go back and make sure that you get that. <laughs> Sorry, I can hear the ladies talking to the corner and they're cracking me up. <laughs> Okay, so here's the, I could even use this for something too. Nice. It looks like, look what I lost. I lost my F. How do you like that? Can't lose the F. So now here's this. I need to put this back on here. There you go. All right. I'm here when you do that. Yeah. And now, I'll go back in here and pick off. See? Get these little pieces out. I'm not going to weed this whole thing off because I have one that's already finished. So there's one. I'll go through and pick out all these little center pieces all the zero, all the O's, the inside of here, and you'll end up with this. And here, let's go ahead and use Wynn's name. So this is transfer paper, which is the right size for this. So we'll start with this and then I'll do Wynn's name. So if I put this on here, and you, if, now I'm not gonna put these in the dishwasher, so this is just regular vinyl. There's special vinyl if you're going to end up washing and putting these in the dishwasher, then you have to use a different kind of vinyl than this. Makes sense? Okay, there's that. And now let's go ahead and pick off Wynn's name. There you go. Oh, he'll be so surprised. There you go. That looks great. And again, a piece of transfer vinyl. And you can reuse this stuff too until it's not sticky anymore. I'll just place this on here. There you go. So Wynn's water bottle is not here, so I'm going to save this for him. So what I'll do is I can just take this off. See how we did this? Make sure all the letters stay on. And it'll stay on your transfer paper. And then you'll do exactly like I'm going to do to this cup right here. Make sure that that's wide enough. Yeah, perfect. I did this before and it fell off because of the fact it's not, um, I put it in the dishwasher. Just like I told you not to, right? Make sure that this is sticky enough. This transfer paper might not be sticky enough for this because you want it to make sure that it sticks on here. So I'm going to redo that one, but let's go ahead and do the win then. This is what we get for using this. I don't know. How many bottles did we do? Six last week? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. See? Put this on his cup. So now when I'm drinking out of Wynn's cup, you'll know. <laughs> perfect. What does this side say? Stay wild. <laughs> That's perfect for Wynn, right? 
And that's how simple that is. So I'll go through and pick off all of these little things and use this for a cup too. So I've got quite a few different colors ready to go. This one I just need to use a little bit stickier transfer paper because if I pull back and these letters don't come off, that's not going to work. Okay, so I'll answer your questions and then I'll go back one more time and show you how to do the outline because somebody asked for that. And I'll take your questions. Arnell, why do I have more trouble weeding than you do? So Arnell, by the way, um, we found that it was much easier to do the weeding on the colors versus the metallic. I don't know if it's the makeup, if what the reason being was, but everyone that used silver or gold, it took them a lot longer. I don't think it was skill either. I think it was the paper. <laughs> but I got all of these. You can get all these from Brother. The Brother Vinyl, the transfer paper, go on. Uh, you can call your local Brother dealer. They have all of this. Just go to brothersos.com. And that's, Barbara, where I got the transfer paper as well. All right. Waiting for your new scan and cut. Bonnie, you're going to love it. I'm telling you, it does so much that even when we got ready for the party, there was more things. I was thinking, let's do a let's do a platter. So here's the platter. Do you remember this? From before. This is a great way to serve your desserts. So I just found this at an inexpensive store. It's just plastic. And I put this on the bottom. I've used it a couple times. I just hand wash it. I don't put it in the dishwasher. And I can put all my desserts on here. All done with the scan and cut. And this weeding project was not hard at all because I used the weeding boxes to go around it. It took me maybe 10 minutes. That's not bad. I might have lost a few clouds. I don't know. <laughs> but it's a built-in design too. Uh, so Lynn, yes, the mats are available. Uh, if you go to my website, I can leave a link. And I'll be sending out a newsletter on Monday. And I will make sure I send links then too because there's three different sizes. And I'll tell you, we're here using all brother machines, obviously, because I'm a brother brand ambassador. We've got the Stellaire, the Dream Machine, the Luminaire, all the Dream Creator. It's so quiet in here when they're all sewing. The machines are quiet, and then you add the mats on the tables. You don't hear anything. Sometimes I have to check and make sure the ladies aren't sleeping on me. <laughs> oh, thanks, Helen. Helen says she thinks the brother machines are great. See? she? <laughs> we see you. She says they're her favorite. <laughs> okay. Um, I see a few more here. Oh, thanks, Sharon. If you're looking for me, you can just go at AngelaWolf.com, and you can also go to blog.brothersos.com, and I believe soon that will be brothersos.com. I'll make sure I keep you up to date. Uh, where did you buy those weeding tools? Colleen, I got them from a brother dealer. So they, um, I don't know if they have the exact kit, but let me just show you what I have. So you'll have to check what you can find there. But this is what, this is how it came. Now I bought this a couple years ago, so it might have changed colors or something by then. But this is great. It helps to scrape off the mats. I always tell you I misplaced these. So this is here. It comes with the little tweezers, which are priceless, and the spatula. And this. And I remember Julie and May both talking about this at one point, and I was like, oh gosh, I have to get this. And it just came in a cute little case like this. So you can check the brother website and also check with their dealer. Or a dealer near you. But it, it really helps a lot, especially if you're doing a complex design. No, Michelle, it's AngelaWolf.com. Look below. Cindy, the designs, I believe in the Facebook group, but I'll make sure that if it's not, Janet emailed it to me last week. Sheila, do you have to be an experienced sewer to take your classes? It depends which class. These are fitting, so you have to be somewhat knowledgeable. You can't be a super newbie, but um, each class is different. All right, let's see what else. Um, I think I have a lot of your questions. Oh, and Linda, that's a great idea to use the negative for etching glass. I agree. <laughs> they look like dental tools. I know I don't think I'd want that dental tool though. Could, 
<laughs> let's skip on that, right? Oh, thanks, Elizabeth. You can get it on the brother site too. Oh, Cindy's came with hers. Uh oh, Elizabeth is in the shop. <laughs> Uh, you know, Timothy, I did not have any problems. Uh, I actually have my name on my cup. The only time I had a problem was when I put it in the dishwasher because I did not use the proper vinyl for that. But when I hand wash it, I have no problems. And I'm always drinking hot tea, hot coffee, hot whatever. And I've had no problems with the vinyl coming off. Uh, Bonnie, if you want to register for my emails, go to Angela Wolf. Look down below. That's my website. And um, just sign up there. On the, you scroll down on the bottom right, you'll see it. And you can also go to Brother So's and sign up for their newsletter as well, because then you'll know when all these live shows are. Do you have the design for the palm tree? Um, yes, this was on, I have to figure out which kit it was in. It's from Brother, but I'll find out for you on that. I have to do it. I'm not going to. Uh, Michelle, you can get the mats at soymachineplus.com. And I can leave a link for you. Oh, Shirley, they always, I'll bet you'll find a dealer to mail for you. Definitely. I agree. <laughs> Brother and I agree. I hope you get her back soon. Okay, so let's go to the machine. One of you asked how to do that outline. I'll show you one more time. I'll do it a little bit slower. And then it's a wrap. Okay. So watch your step, guys, around these little walk a room. The girls are ready to eat lunch. Wow. You're going to hurry up and do this. Okay. So this is the outline that I did. So I'll go back and do this one more time. So in your embroidery, and it's just two icons. So let's do something different. Maybe you were going to embroider, I don't know, this, this deer. I think that's a deer with birds and something like that, or a butterfly. These are all built in. Let's do the deer, it's a little bit smaller. Click set, there's your design. That's actually kind of cool. That would make a great pillow. And then go on here. Now, by the way, if you were just embroidering this and then you wanted to add some stippling, you can do that right from this screen. You don't have to go into my design center. You can see there it is. Or if you want to change, this is right in the embroidery design. So this is on the luminaire. If I click select here, I can pick a different. This is one of the ones that I was showing. This would be kind of a cool bag. It has to think for a moment. Look at how neat that is. You can also make the distance around this a little bit larger. And again, this is all in the embroidery screen, not in my design center. See how it made this out a little bit around the design? A lot of possibilities there. Click OK. That's one way you can do it. If you're going to do that book, you could rotate this, maybe put it on one side, put something else on this side. You can embroider all of that in the hoop yourself. Now, let's go back. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to start back in the embroidery, and I'll show you what I did just a few minutes ago. Why don't we do a W for win? There you go. Now go, let's see, is it under edit? And it's this icon right here. That's what I showed this time. There's a few different ways you can do this. This is just one. Another way, I should say. I can make it bigger. So you can see now the outline is a little bit outside of that embroidered design. Click memory. We'll go to memory. It says, recall your memory. It even shows you the little icon in case you forget. All right, now let's go home. Click on my design center. Scroll down through here. And there's the same flower in case you forgot, right there. So click that, click OK. There's the outline. And now I can add my fill. See, what do we want to add this time? Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's go with purple this time. And there you go. 
So that's how you can add an outline. That's in my design center, but I also showed you how to do it on the embroidery side. So those are, that should answer your question. And if you missed it, you can always go back and watch the replay. So I think we hit a lot of topics today. Super fun. I hope, <laughs> I hope by the way, you got some good ideas for party ideas, for maybe you have a graduation coming up. Maybe you have, we've got Mother's Day, all these different things. And if you go to the Brother Sews, you'll see a lot of great tutorials there too. Oh, I agree, Michelle. All right, did I get everybody's questions? Oh, Debbie, that would be cute napkins. Of course, Arnell, I picked purple for you. <laughs> all right, so I hope you all have a great day, ladies. Thank you for helping. You can see they're all still working diligently. Thank you so much. They're off to lunch and we're off to sew some more jackets. So if you'd like to get my newsletters, you can go to AngelaWolf.com. Scroll down a little bit on the right-hand side. I'll be sending one out on Monday. Everything kind of goes back to quiet here. I'll be very lonely after these classes close. <laughs> Great ideas. I totally agree. And if you have questions, you can always message me or email me. And I'll make sure I get that pattern that Helen had and include it on my website because it's not a brother product. Uh, Timothy, could you put... <laughs> Ask Santa to put a luminaire for Christmas. I'll work on that. <laughs> I'll work on that. Hey, Barbara. Great to see all of you again. So, uh, by the way, have a great weekend. Today's Thursday, so the, let's see. No more live shows this week, except for Fashion Sewing Club tomorrow at noon. And then on Saturday, another episode of It's So Easy. Until next week, which will be live again on the Brother Sews page at noon. So, have a wonderful day, everyone. Don't forget, I just saw one more little note here. Don't forget that if for any reason you make something fabulous with your brother machine or your scan and cut, be sure to share that on social using hashtag brothersos.com. They always love to see what you're working on, and so do I. All right, bye everyone.